I'm going to show you how to turn a brown paper lunch bag into a 3D tree using a sharpie, a pair of scissors, your two hands, and if you want to add details later you might need some glue. So for the sharpie I'm going to draw a line where I'm going to make cuts just so I know. So on the big side I'm going to draw a line the middle, about halfway down. You can draw a little line across to give you a marker. Then I'm going to draw another line here and here. And as I said, these are places where I'm going to be cutting. I'm going to flip it over and do the same. So a line down the middle. And I apologize if it's a little shaky. I don't have my tripod handy. All right. So I've got the cuts on those sides. But, on the sides with it still folded, I'm going to do the same, but I'm only making, you can make just one line, I'm going to make the little ones too, just because it gives you room for more detail. So, in the end, I'm drawing three lines on all four sides. So, 12 cuts in all. Then, go ahead and open the bag. So, then I'm going to make my cuts. So, let me show you what that'll look like. So, cut to the line and stop. And repeat that on all four sides. Two, and I didn't measure mine because they don't have to be perfect. Yours don't have to be perfect either. Every tree is a little different, so every tree sculpture should be a little different too. Okay, so we have our sides cut. All right, so from there, I need to do some twisting. So, here's what that's going to look like. I'm going to take the small pieces from the fold, and I'm going to twist those first. So I'm going to hold it in one hand and kind of squeeze, and then turn it with the other. And I'm going to do that for the ends first. The little ends that we're twisting here are going to be your smallest branches on your tree. If you want to have more branches, you would have to make smaller cuts or more cuts. So like here, for example, if I wanted more branches, I could cut or tear this and then I could cut it. I could twist it or I could twist it a little bit, make another little tear and twist some more. But the more the more tearing or cutting you do, the more twisting you do, the more branches you're going to have on your tree. So, you can pause at any time to do yours. That's the beauty of the internet and YouTube. I'm just going to keep working with mine. So you can see it sort of come together in real time. I find that the tighter you can twist them, the better your sculpture is going to hold in place. So, these are all twisting from the small cuts. So, these are going to be my smallest branches. Now, after I've twisted those, my bag looks kind of funny like it's had a bad haircut. Alright, so now we need bigger branches. And I'm actually going to make mine cut a little bit longer because I really want these to actually go down to about halfway. So, you might want yours, your tree to be a little taller in trunk. That's okay. But here's why I'm doing this. So now I'm going to take this corner of my bag 
and twist it. And this is going to become one of my main branches. Same for each of the four corners. You're going to repeat that process. Taking the four, taking a corner, squeeze it first, and then twist it. The tighter you can twist, the better it's going to hold together. I'll have students that will complain that their tree wants to fall over. Usually the matter is that they haven't twisted it tight enough. So the tighter you can twist it, the better you're going to be off later. The better it will hold together, the less it will want to fall over, bend over, etc. So there are my four trunks. Continuing my bad haircut for my tree. Alright, now this part may be confusing. This big part down here. Here's what we're going to do with it. So we're going to take that in our hand. In just one hand. And at first we're going to give it a squeeze. But one thing you want to try to do is have the very bottom of the bag stick out. So try to have that stick out still. It doesn't have to be completely like that, but at least a little bit. So squeeze it in your fist. Let out some aggression. Then take it, twist it just like you did the little branches. And now my tree's starting to come together. All right, now you have this mess at the bottom. So, what I do here, you have some options. I like to cut from the sides but you can cut from corners, but I'll try to flatten this out so you can kind of see the square. And I'll make a cut on each of the four sides of the bottom of the bag. Now you could do this before you do the twisting, but I like to do it at this point, just cause for me it works a little better. But you can try it your own way. So then I'll take a corner, I'll squeeze and twist. So squeezing and twisting is the key this time with this project. So squeeze a corner, twist a corner. And I'll do that on all four sides. And just like with the top, if you want more roots for your tree, you're going to need to make more cuts. If you just do four, you're going to get four roots from it. All right, so at this point, your tree should stand up if it does not. The quick best solution for that, get a piece of cardboard. That could be from a box. It could be from a cereal box container or some other type of box that you've gotten from a grocery store. You can cut off a square of it and glue this to the bottom with some 